There goes that person again. You see them all the time. Why do you keep noticing them when they pass you? What's that feeling? No, it can't be. Do you like them? Maybe you aren't sure. Maybe the feeling will pass. Maybe they're a good friend and you don't think you could see them that way. No matter what your situation is, we are here to help you see if you actually like them. Even if you don't think so, do you find them physically attractive? A study published in the Journal of Social Psychology found that the vast majority of people value physical attractiveness in their partner. There are a lot of biological reasons why we value physical attractiveness. Reasons can range from thousands of years of evolution to attractive people just being pleasing to our eyes. We associate a lot of good things with attractive people, whether they are warranted or not. Things like mental health, success, and intelligence are all associated with attractive people before we've even heard them say a word. So maybe I just like being around them. I don't like them. They're just objectively attractive. Well, yes, that definitely can be true, but do they get you excited? We're not talking about the way you might get excited with your best friends. We're talking about your heart skipping a beat when you see their name pop up on your phone. We're talking about thinking about them all day, wanting to tell them about every little minor thing that happens. Maybe you even caught yourself bringing them up in a conversation that had nothing to do with them. Is this starting to sound familiar? You might not think you like them because they may not be the sort of person you thought you would like. The funny thing about us humans is that we're unpredictable, literally. A 2017 study that was published in the journal Psychological Science tried to use machine learning to predict romantic desire. They found that even when using an individual's preference, they could not predict who that individual would find romantically desirable. And that's why it is so important to examine how they make you feel. We talked about the importance of your potential partner being attentive and remembering the little things, which is why SoSynced could be the right app for you. They pair couples who have the right amount of similarities to get each other and just the right amount of differences to create that spark and go for deeper, meaningful dating. Upon taking the personality test, you discover your personality, such as INFJ, so thoughtful, or ENFP, so curious. Once you've mutually liked each other, you can start messaging. We wanted to say a massive congratulations to Hannah and Brendan who got married in December after meeting on SoSynced the dating app that matches compatible personality types. Hannah is a psych to goer who discovered SoSynced through one of our videos. She downloaded the app, found Brendan, and deleted the app within a matter of hours. Hannah is an ENFP, and Brendan is an INTJ. They would be a perfect personality match on SoSynced. Download the app for free today to meet that special someone on your wavelength. Make sure to check out the app in the description box below for more details. We encourage you to try it and give yourself a chance to find deeper love. Are you nervous around them? Have you recently found yourself getting weirdly nervous around them, especially if you never used to? When you're talking to them, you find yourself messing up words and getting embarrassed. Maybe you even feel your cheeks getting hot. This may just mean you like them, or you at least find them highly attractive. A study published in Adaptive Human Behavior and Psychology explains that we experience many physiological and behavioral reactions when around someone we find attractive. In the 2020 study, they specifically cite examples such as increased attentiveness, smiling, staring, heart rate, giggling, blushing, and difficulty concentrating. Does that sound familiar? Are they the only person you think of like that? An excellent study published in Archives in Sexual Behavior explains that when we're really attracted to someone, thinking about them, seeing them, and interacting with them gives you an increase in your dopamine and norepinephrine, which plays a role in activating your fight or flight response which may also contribute to that nervous feeling. The study goes on to suggest that we have an inability to feel true romantic passion for more than one person at a time. Because of this, they get our focused attention and we think of them as unique or special. You probably also only focus on the positive aspects and may be inclined to overlook some of their negative traits. This also explains why people ignore red flags no matter how much our friends or family protest. Did you think of them while watching this? We didn't use any names, genders, or specific attributes in this video, but you still might have found yourself thinking about a specific person. If that's the case, maybe you really do like them. There's a chance that they like you too, so why not explore those feelings? If you found this video eye-opening or interesting, why not leave a like? And remember to subscribe to Psych2Go to see more videos just like this. If a friend of yours is denying that they have feelings for someone, go ahead and share this with them. Good luck out there. You've got this.